guess you could say that. <laughs> Bishop Gregory Mansour has served as chairman of the Board of Catholic Relief Services for just over a year. As CRS celebrates its 75th anniversary, the Maronite Bishop reflects on how the ministry started during the carnage of World War II. It seems like history is repeating itself. 1943, when we began, a re huge, huge refugee crisis, and it happened again today. After Hitler's invasion of the Soviet Union, Polish refugees in Siberia needed to flee to safety, but with war devastating Europe, there was no place for them to go. With money raised from concerned U.S. citizens, the Catholic Church formed a ministry, then called War Relief Services. Not finding room in the United States because of immigration policies, uh, we, we brought some of them to Mexico. From Mexico, many of the Polish refugees were able to resettle in the United States. The relief agency has recently contacted some of them, collecting their stories. The, the fascinating thing is the story of this, this young boy who was brought with his mom to Mexico and remembers eating onions for the first time. War Relief Services soon became Catholic Relief Services, or CRS. Today, CRS is in over 100 countries, helping refugees to escape danger, but also to return to their home countries when it's safe. More recently, Bishop Mansour says CRS has developed a third mission. Catholic Relief Services does even more to help governments resolve their internal problems so that people won't have to flee. People won't have to be refugees. Bishop Mansour said he will have the chance to talk with a former Polish refugee who first ate onions in Mexico 75 years ago. His name is Julek Plowy. His and other refugee stories are available as podcasts on the CRS 75th anniversary website, 75.crs.org. In Brooklyn, Conrad Adorer, Currents News.